Hi, Jen. This isn't the model that's the Captiva, but this one will at least show you what the finished product could look like um, based on the color of the bricks. You have multiple choices on that and the trim. But this is a house that's finished, that's their model. And can show you examples, not what you have to have, but examples of what it looks like when it's done. And the way the standard works here is throughout the house, you could get to pick three separate colors uh, for the standard, whatever price you choose. And then you get to pick which rooms get which colors. So I'm just walking around to show you the way it would look. Forgive me if I'm jittering around, but. Now this one also has a much smaller outside entertainment area, but uh, Peter mentioned to you that there's a tile on the floor. This is a much smaller version, but there's a tile on the floor. Your um, wet bar setup. Again, a much smaller version of it. But the living um, temperature out here is fine. This time of year, you could actually use a lot of it outside. And that's just the neighborhood for this house. Comes all landscaped, all in the prices, the landscape and the bushes and whatever you choose. Again, there's the skylights that were on the other one, but this one's done. This is a much smaller one, so there's only two skylights. We also found out that the sound system in the house for, I don't know about these outdoor speakers, but the speakers that uh, come in the ceiling for the whole house, like that one there, is all part of that same price. Right there. And it all gets wired to a spot right here next to the... Uh, it must be the other side on this one. So you can put an iPhone or an iPad or whatever. There you go. There's a, this the way they did this one is music goes through there. You can change that and put your own amplifiers in or whatever for music for the whole house. At least on this floor. Well, there only is on my floor. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Again, this is a smaller house, different layout. This one here, as you walk in, see the kitchen is more open, but there's less space for the overall house. And they're gabbing over there, see? All right, let's go into what I think it might be the master bedroom for this house. Yeah. See, this one's a little bit smaller than the other house. And on the other house, beyond that wall in the back, back is that little sitting room that could be an office. And there's a his and hers closet in this one too. Just a workmanship you might want to take a look at. And then from here, you see there's speakers in here too. There's one there and one there. <coughs> Now there's his and hers closets, an example of the smaller home that all comes standard. That's the, the boys are in. And then here's the girls one because they have more pocketbooks and, and shoes and stuff that girls have. And now this one happens to have one full vanity 
Oh, and hi. <laughs> That's me. And, oh, and this is the wallpaper. Now, it doesn't have to be this wallpaper, but an example of what it would look like finished with wallpaper. And again, there's standard stuff that you can get that's not extra for that, according to what the woman told us. And you can, I assume you can choose to opt in or out of doing that. Here's an example of, for this style, shower. Big showers, all walk-in showers are very big in this area. So you can put your plants here or you can put your hiney here while you're washing your toes. And then this one happens to have, you know, the full body one and then the rain shower one. And what's really cool is when you turn the lights on, it's very bright in there. can't make it work. But anyway, if you have any unwanted hairs while you're, while you're shaving, you can do that so Peter doesn't have one spot where he's got a, um, sideburns long, one side longer than the other. And the closets are uh, gone. I, I think you said you like this idea too. Full frame and then you insert the mirrors in. This must be a linen closet. Oh no, that's the poop though, see? It's a nature room. Again, the wallpaper. Okay. Now back into the... This area. <clears throat> oh, in this area here, what she said is you can have this open as your dining room. Or this, let's see where the columns are. That could be closed off as a separate room, which could be like an office or uh, an whatever, study. Now we're walking through this little area here and there's a office section or a desk section. That's a little, another little closet. You have options, all kinds of options on what type of uh, backsplash and all that stuff. I'll show you that in a second. And here's, the, here's the way this kitchen is laid out. Now this is like the other casual dining area. And there's a nice lady on her Toshiba right there. So. Make the condition storage bigger? Yeah. This is a bedroom, second bedroom off of the dining room area. Similar to the other house, only it's in a different location a little bit. And it has its own bathroom. So this would be the bathroom for this bedroom, but it's also the one that's common for people to get to from the dining room. Oh, and you see the rounded corners around the edges here? That's, that's a nice touch. Okay. Now over here, on this side, again, different layout. Here's your utility room off of the garage, just not through the the, that area. Can't figure out what this room is for other than it would be a nice storage area. Maybe Jedi's bedroom. And this one's finished more of an, as an office for the real estate people, but this is the garage for this one. You want to wave? You can wave. Come on, wave, please. Please wave. Thank you. Yeah, no. Oh, and here's another bedroom as well. Pretty decent size. But again, we're looking at workmanship here. This all happens to be beige. Far from my favorite color. 
And then this is the bathroom off of that one. Again, we'll tile to the ceiling and or to the wall. Yeah, to the ceiling. All right, stay with me, Jen. I'm going to go outside and walk around the outside. Another area for uh, like a linen closet, I guess. <clears throat> All right, we're going outside. That's the hydro sprinkler system. I think that's the hydro propane tank. Here there's not a lot of natural gas, it's, it's propane, mainly because it's such a, it's an area with such uh, soft sand. It's, there's no um, natural gas piping here, it's all propane. tank underneath that stall area and then behind the house they're saying the standard is this pine straw as your um, given um, landscaping around the bushes and again they mow your lawn for you and you can put a fence around if you like notice the back The sky's not Carolina blue today, there's a little overcast. Alright. More to follow. I guess that's a garage door, back door. Oh look, they got petunias, whatever else those are. Bye. Jen, this is one that we found under construction that blows it out to a three car garage. Under construction, the lady told us about. That's the Captiva the extra garage and still that little storage yeah and this all has heat and cold yeah no that's definitely a sitting room or an office but this is cool because you got an extra bedroom So this one's maxed out. Under construction. Hello. Hi. How you doing?
Alright, this one's a mirror image of the last one we looked at. Because as you walk in here, the kitchen is to the right. And it would be this wall right here that Peter thinks that might be just blown out and not like from here down. Just knock that out and it looks like there's nothing important inside there to be an issue. And the kitchen just rolls around this way. And then this is that little dining area. And this Another bedroom, and that blow burn out a blow out to do this. This is that big lanai out there, and here's those four doors. Oh, hon, can you slide that door, show her? Maybe it's not. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, see how they all slide together? And you do that, and you can get it down to one. So, three would be open, one would be doors in it. You could even do two on each side and put one in the middle. So since this is a mirror image, this is the this is the uh, could be the bedroom that's now this one they went maxed out everywhere. This is all blown out, makes the room much bigger as a bedroom. And there's the bathroom for it. And now going this way, here in the main living area. Oh, and there's Peter and Hunt. Peter, yeah. wave to the wall that would come out. Yep. And then over here, there's that closet. And this is the master bedroom, because it's on the mirror image side. The sitting room. And then the sitting room, which could be an office. Goes right out the door to the lanai. How you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Now this is the master bath with one of the walk-in closets, I think. The other walk-in closet. Walk-in shower. Tub option. Yeah, this, uh, this is amazing when you look at blowing out that side and blowing out the garage. Peter, check out this room here. This, this is the, the corner room that was smaller as a bedroom, but look at the side of it now. Yeah. The only issue is that if there's company over, you got to wear your pajamas when you, or your yompies when you're going yeah. in to take a shower. Do you have these in your house? 
I don't think so. Hurricane tie downs. Oh yeah. They go from inside the foundation all the way up to the top plate, so yeah. the house cannot lift. Yeah, that's pretty they, cool. They're on every wall. I don't know. No, they're on it. No, I mean I don't know what we have because I wasn't there when they did that. <laughs> This is all in the uh, upper structure. I'm doing this in case Peter ever wants to know what it looks like. There's an air handling unit. Very cool, Peter. I'm doing up here too, so you could always know what it. Everything's done really good. Put a fire clock and everything. Oh, and this is the see-through fireplace, didn't she say it goes on both sides? Yeah, I don't know. That, this one, that doesn't. Maybe they didn't, maybe they didn't want it in there. Yeah. Hang on, there's the vent for it. All right. More to follow, probably. <laughs>